Uncle Nick here, and on this video, we are going over a very controversial subject in the strength community, and that subject is hitching. There are four main points that I want to go over with you guys about hitching. The first one, the most common one, safety. Why safety? So I want to go over, over the safety myths or whatever they say, all the stuff that is said about hitching being unsafe, not proper form, whatever. The only reason it's not considered proper form is because it's not acceptable in powerlifting. In strongman, it is acceptable and it is considered okay form. You can still, there is a general way to deadlift a right and a wrong way, and that is a very general term. Everybody is different proportions, arm, arm length to leg length ratio, it's all gonna be different depending on the person, so everybody's form is gonna be a little bit different, but there is general things that you do look for in a correct, correct deadlift. I think we can all agree on that. It's not any less safe than deadlifting normally. It's really not, it's just a different way to get the weight up. Why do I hitch? I hitch because of efficiency reasons. So most time in strongman you will encounter lifts where you have a minute to get as many reps as possible. And that also goes for the deadlift, whether it's car deadlift, frame deadlift, farmer's deadlift, standard deadlift, 18 inch deadlift, whatever it is. Hitching is acceptable in strongman and it's not considered bad form. Still have a tight brace, still have a straight back, Still pushing your hips through. You're just pushing your hips through sooner to get to the lockout faster. Time is money in Strongman. So if I can hitch and get my lockout faster with a little less effort, then I'm gonna do so. So if I get seven reps in a minute and I save a second with the hitch, that's seven seconds, that's another rep. One rep at a national or world's level could be the difference between a podium finish and a 10th place finish. It gets that close. That's what I'm trying to say to you guys, is that hitching isn't bad. It's only bad per the powerlifting standard. Now, I'm not a powerlifter, nor have I ever claimed to be a powerlifter. So I'm gonna hitch when I get into, I'm gonna train like I play, basically. If it comes down to me not getting a lift and me getting the lift, I'm gonna hitch all day long, loud and proud. That simple. So when powerlifters go and see strongman hitching, they're like, oh, that doesn't count. No, it does count. It 100% counts. Stop saying that. <laughs> I, I don't know why they feel the need to say that. I don't go to powerlifters that do that, that wide grip, super high arch, three inch range of motion, and be like, oh, that bench didn't count. You know everybody's singing that anyway, whether you're a powerlifter or not. There's people that hold world records doing that with a, like a three inch range of motion. That is actually a thing. And yet hitching gets the bad rap. I don't know why, couldn't tell you. But it's not my lane. I don't go to CrossFitters and tell them how to handstand walk and whatever else, pegboard. I don't tell them how to do that. That's not something I've experienced with. That's not something that I have to follow the rules on. If I ever get into CrossFit, I'm gonna go to people that know how to do it and learn from them and play by their rules. Strong men play by strong men rules. Powerlifters live by powerlifting rules. So this whole, it doesn't count, is case depending. If you're a strong man, hitching's fine. I hitch, you won't hear me say anything about someone hitching. That's why when you see on Brian's last video, there's a lot of hate on the hitching, the members hitching on a 110, like 104% lift. Form's gonna deteriorate at 104%. They're girls doing almost around three times body weight and you're gonna comment on their hitching? Come on, guys. It all goes back to, to each his own. I'm not a powerlifter. Powerlifting doesn't have that draw to me that it does to other people. I have the attention span of a gnat. So after about a week of just training powerlifting, I'm gonna be bored. That, that's what makes Strongman so attractive to me is that it has the potential to be different every single competition. Now you will see the same lift essentially, but different variations, different implements. And it constantly makes you learn and think and go back to the drawing board and it's always a challenge. There's always something that I can do better at. Even in powerlifting, you're always trying to improve those three lifts. Strongman, you're trying to improve on like 20. 
You're all over the place. It makes you well-rounded. It's functional. You can pick up a 300-pound stone. You can pick up a 300-pound anything. And trust me, when you have to move a washer, you have to move a dryer, you're going to know how to grab it, know how to move it, and you're going to be comfortable with being uncomfortable because it's a big, awkward thing. And a lot of the implements we used aren't always balanced perfectly. So it's a different kind of strength versus a perfectly balanced, perfectly weighed barbell. So when you see someone hitching in strongman, think about it. It's not powerlifting, it's okay. That, that's all I'm trying to say here, guys, is that it's strongman, it's okay in strongman. So when powerlifters come over to strongman, or approach a strongman and say, hey, that lift doesn't count, most strongmen are gonna be like, well, it's good in strongman, so it does. You're gonna tell me that Mikhail Shivlikov on the Arnold stage hitched a little bit on his almost thousand pound pull, and you're gonna be like, oh, that didn't count. While Magnus for Magnus and gave him a down command, who's strongman royalty, you're gonna argue with those kind of credentials? It counts, guys. Hitching's a thing, it's okay. If you hitch, don't feel bad about it. Don't listen to what all those elitists have to say. Every strength sport has those elitists. Powerlifting, strongman, CrossFit, they all have those, it's our way or the highway, nothing else counts. That's not a good environment to be in. Those aren't the people you wanna lift around. I can appreciate a strong powerlifter. I can appreciate a strong crossfitter. It's strength, strength sports. We each have our own thing. I appeal to strongman. That's my thing. Some of you guys appeal to powerlifting. That's your thing. I don't look at any strength athlete different because of their choice of sport in the strength world. I can appreciate it all. It's like some people prefer muscle cars over tuners. Whatever, I can appreciate a fast car. Fast is fast, I don't care what kind of engine's in it. If it's fun to drive, it's fun to drive. Same concept with lifting, guys. It doesn't matter what you're into, but don't go into other strength sports lanes and sit there and tell them what's okay, not okay, outside of the realm of their sport, because it doesn't matter to them. Now I'm gonna go over how to hitch. There's no written down way how to hitch. What we're gonna do is how, I'm gonna show you how I hitch, what has worked for me, what my technique is, and how I've gotten better at that. But it's very simple. All you're doing, you're still getting your hips through, you're still locking out your knees, you're just doing it earlier. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna start out deadlifting like you normally would, as you crest your knees, you're gonna shoot your knees through. And as your knees get through and approaches the about mid-thigh point, you're gonna fire your hips through at the same time. One motion, try and break the bar with your hips, then you're going to lock out. You're not cheating the rep, it's still the same range of motion. You're still going from the floor to the lockout position. You're just doing it in a manner that allows you to get your hips through sooner. It's not cheating, you're still holding the weight. Now some people you'll see sit back really far and it almost look like they're resting on their lap, but it's still a hitch. It's still okay in my book, whatever. I'm, I'm not hard to please. I just appreciate the fact that someone can pick up a thousand pounds whether they hitch or not, stand up with it and hold it. That's an awesome feat as a human being. Appreciate it no matter how they do it. Thousand pounds is thousand pounds whether you hitched or did it in a white light deadlift. Whatever you guys wanna call it. Thousand pounds, thousand pounds. Like I said, you're shooting your knees through, then getting your hips through. You're trying to break the bar with your hips, break it in half, snapping those hips forward. The moment that bar crests your knee, you're kind of, you're diving your knee, you're, you're kind of diving under it to get your hips to the bar sooner. That's the whole concept behind hitching. The sooner you get your hips to the bar, the sooner you can get locked out. That's all there is to it. Now you'll see some people kind of bumping it. That usually happens when they're at a max effort standpoint or it's sticking to their thighs and they're kind of bumping it to create a little bit of space between their leg and the bar so they can inch their knees and their hips underneath the bar and then lock out. That's all that is. It's, there's nothing, it's not some unsafe thing that they're doing. You're still breathing and bracing, doing all the packing your lats, upper back tight, lower back tight. You're still getting all that stuff right, but you're just allowing the hitch to get to the lockout faster. That's basically what it comes down to. Especially on an 18 inch deadlift where you're pulling from just below the knee. The goal is to get it off there and shoot your knees under to get the lockout because you don't have the ability to build that momentum up off of the floor. So when you get to your knees, you're building momentum and accelerating and locking out like you normally would, whereas 18 inch deadlift, you're starting stagnant from pretty much a dead zone. So 
it's a long pull off the blocks, and then once you get your knees under it, you're hitching to get that lockout, especially if it's a as many reps as possible environment. There's a lot of you that asked about hitching, so I figured I would address it. I, some of you had genuine questions on how to hitch, on what I think about hitching, this, that, and the other. And I hope this answers some of those questions. Now, this is what I do and what works for me, like I said on many other videos. This isn't the, the way to do it. If you know of a better way, I'm all ears. Spread, spread the word. Knowledge is power, especially in the lifting world. I'm just trying to give you guys what knowledge I have through my experience and why I hitch. That's about it. Also, I want to do a Q&A finally. Now that I have about almost 2,500 subscribers or so, you can ask me. It can be a question to Brian. It can be a question to Andy. It can be a question to any one of us. I will go through those questions and whoever your question is for, I will bring it to them and I'll get it on camera of us answering the question. So whatever you guys want to ask, lifting related, lifestyle related, whatever it may be, let's do a Q&A, what's my favorite color? Whatever you guys want, ask it, fire away. It could be the most random thing ever, have fun with it, all right? So until next time guys, you know what the deal is, get out there, get after it, and embrace the suck.